Hello everyone, welcome to the street show. We are playing some Monster Train today. Uh, last episode was interesting, but if I'm being completely honest, I am finding a, a good respect for the Hellhorned Champion. So, that's, that's definitely worth noting. Uh, today, we are Stygian Guard, allied with the Melting Remnant. We get... Uh, Seraph the Temperant, who applies Sap. We have some Spell Weakness, some Stealth, and some Ice Tornado. Uh, the Molten Encasements are going to come in really handy for mitigating damage on our champion. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I'm seeing a lot of Spell effects that we can implement. Um, I'm always going to be a fan of uh, Frostbite and Cuddlebeard is 100% what I was hoping to see here. I really hope that means that we actually get the Frostbite champion. We totally didn't. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> well I think we prepare ourselves to maybe get uh, frostbite uh, Tethys by picking up Spell Weakness and Sweep. Uh, I'm... Uh, hold on a second. The Ice Tornado's costing three is sort of a big deal. Maybe we do actually want to play Conduit here. At which point, grabbing the, uh, the other artifact Probably was a better call. I I really, really like Frostbite, though. <laughs> Alright. How are we going to do it? Well, I think we have to do this, and then this. We're going to not play urchin spines because uh, it's consumed and these guys aren't so terrible that we need to do that right now so here's what I'm thinking Unfortunately, I think we could have gotten the Collector, but at the cost of uh, losing Tethys and sending a bunch of crap up to the Pyre, I, that was not was not going to be worth it. Um, what we want to do, though, is probably this. I actually think we'll play that one there. And then let's stick a dragon front since it will die to burnout before the boss is even able to get up to our floor. Well, I think what we want to do is just try and get rid of as much of them as possible. Unfortunately, for four units, we're only taking out one of theirs. I'm fine playing an ice tornado there. Ten damage is not a lot. So we're going to stick a train steward in front. Uh, we're going to do all of our spells because that's all we can do. So he's going to get two hits in on us. Uh, considering he's the only thing that made it up to the pyre, I, I would say we did okay. Uh, obviously, no damage to the pyre would have been better, but do what you can. Um, I'm feeling Crypt Builder. Not because, hey, it's a big spell, why not? But because, I mean, it... it I mean, don't get me wrong, it is a big spell, 
and that's important. But I meant more the cost was not the the determining factor. It's the damage. We there are ways around that cost. Um, shoot, what do I want? I think I actually want an entombed explosive. And I want to put endless on it. <clears throat> or I just want to be able to reform all the time, but we'll see. Uh, right now we need to go units. Uh, not just because maybe we'll find endless right off the bat, which we did not. But, uh, and a large stone is pretty interesting. Actually, let's, before we put a large stone on something, let's see what the Stygian unit is. This is awesome. Okay, so we're going to put a large stone on the Titan Sentry, and so we're going to give him extra health. It's going to get him fully upgraded right off the bat. Now we've got something for our first floor. Um, I think we could actually afford to add a Wick Stone to a Dreg. I'm probably not going to keep all of them, but if I have one that's pretty good, that seems like a, a pretty good early investment. Um, what we're looking for, though, would eventually be to put Endless on the explosive, uh, the explosive guy. I already forgot his name. Okay, well, they're all dead. Is this... Do we put Tethys on this floor? I think we don't, actually. I think we put Tethys on... Well, they're all going to have... Okay, hold on. If every floor is going to have this conduit infiltrator... The only way they won't die is if there aren't at least two more units, but they would still go up to the top floor. And if that is the floor where we find um, the collector, I want to be able to kill it. See, there it is. Um, so, I think we'll put one molten encasement there and one molten encasement there. We should probably put a train steward down here to help push through some more damage. Uh, you're dying, so I don't have to play the frozen lances on the top floor, which is the only spot I could play them because I'm out of ember. And we're already on brief respite. Um, I, I don't know, I guess we'll just do this. Get the units out of the deck. I probably could have put that in front of Tethys. It, it's not that big of a deal because I'm pretty sure we're about to win right here. Yeah, we won. So, <clears throat> one of the things I would like to do is have a way to heal up. So Offering Token helps us with Crypt Builder, but I think we want Flash Freeze. Uh, I don't think, we don't really have any targetable, uh, targetable spells, and I think we have to get a Molded. A Wickless Tycoon on the bottom floor would be really handy. Uh, Lady of the Reformed is always a good choice, However, if we're going to put the Titan Sentry on the bottom, most stuff isn't going to make it up to the second floor. I think uh, Wickless Tycoon is very, very okay in this situation. Uh, so we get an artifact and heal up. We could use the extra health, or we could upgrade some spells and get another Stygian unit. Either way, we get the Concealed Caverns. As far as spells go, I do want to look at maybe upgrading Flash Freeze 
I would like to stick a, uh, a permafrost on this molded so that we can stick t Titan Sentry down. Titan Sentry can die. Then we can reform it. Oh, wait, that... Mm, if we reform him, he gets burnout. I would like to reduce the cost of ice tornadoes and increase their magic power. Um, do we need another unit? It would be nice to have a dedicated front line for Tethys, so maybe getting this is good. Otherwise, we could look at getting more damage. So let's do that. Okay. An icy silophyte. Otherwise, we could go with an encant uh, armor for Tethys' front line. That actually isn't a bad idea, considering we are most likely to play spells on Tethys' floor. Yeah, let's do that. I like that idea. I don't think we... Oh, we do have consume. We have urchin's vines. Uh, let's reduce the cost of an ice tornado. Let's also add some magic power and consume to a frozen lance. If we re-roll, we could reduce the ember cost one more time, but we will not by any means be able to get whatever the, uh, the the best upgrade is. Do we take this time maybe to purge a card? Because I think I know what I would want to purge. Uh, we only have five capacity. We've got four just with the drags, five with Tethys, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, plus 8 is 21, plus another 2 is 23. Pretty sure we don't have enough capacity. So I think actually getting rid of a train steward is totally fine by me. And then let's see what's at the caverns. All right. No complaints here. Oh, this is interesting. I never noticed this. With the hook it says you can send an enemy unit to the pyre room. With the doors, you descend a unit. Doesn't say anything about enemy units. Of course, you'd be putting dazed two on your own guys, so take that for what it's worth, I suppose. Um... I think I'd rather have Steel Pulley Claw. It is nice that the uh, the Steel Trapdoor uh, is a zero cost spell, but I, I'm fine with the Pulley Claw costing two. We could have reduced its Ember cost as well, I suppose, but should be good. All right, Explosive Sigil on the Daedalus fight. <clears throat> okay. Well, this is a lot. Oh, that's not who I thought it was. Okay. Uh, Tethys goes there. Guard of the Unnamed goes there. There's not a whole lot of reason. I think we just put two train stewards here and not the encasement. There's no reason for me to put anything here, because they're all going to die anyway. Uh, if not to the 15 damage from the clergyman, then from the explosion on the constructed explosive. I thought we had a Titan Sentry, and I was going to put that on the bottom. That would have been a big no-no. Uh, Titan Sentry can definitely go there, though. I actually think... 
So if I understand how all of the things on this row work, I think we would still lose the first train steward because the molten encasement would die to this guy. He wouldn't attack. He wouldn't attack. This isn't dazed. I think it still explodes. But let's see how that goes. Yep. Okay. I'm glad we were able to confirm that. I also think we just take this opportunity to kill that guy. And I might as well stick a drag here in front. Because why not? <clears throat> All right, Wickless Tycoon, right there. Our bottom floor is now set up. How do we want to do this? Oh, this doesn't count as uh, a damage spell, which makes sense because it doesn't do any damage, but it just didn't occur to me that that would be the case. So if I have Frozen Lance, we're down to only losing one. I think we'll stick another drag here. That way you die to burn out, you don't lose anything. Um, I mean, technically I could steal Fully Claw one of these. But then one of them, This, if I fully clawed this one, it would only lose, wait, hold on. I do 25 damage here. I'd only do get one hit worth if I fully clawed one of these. Whatever I fully claw would die, but then I would only do 30 damage to whatever's left. Otherwise, what I could do is this, and then we're doing a little more damage to Daedalus. And I'm going to let every single one of those guys hit me so I get as many stacks of Frostbite on Daedalus. Uh, we're not going to do Spell Weakness. I'm not going to cast Ice Tornado up top. I think what we're gonna do is just kill that guy and then we'll stick up another train steward. Okay, so you'll die on the next floor and then you're gonna have a bunch of frostbite stacks. We might be able to kill Daedalus before we even get to the final wave at this rate. Um, we're gonna do it this way. So do that. Frozen Lance, consume, do another Frozen Lance. Yeah, 74 damage. Well, I mean, just the 55 stacks of Frostbite's pretty good. Oh, we didn't kill him. Oh, well. We are killing him now, though, so that's pretty nice. We have a pretty good setup. All we can do, I think, is you know, get stronger from here. Um, what I would like, I really do want to have a way to be able to heal Titan Sentry. That would make me feel a whole lot better. Hmm. Huh. Ice Empire becomes free if we keep Tethys up on the top floor. I don't think we're going to need Siren Song. Ancient Synergy is always pretty nice. But I think we are actually going to pick Ice and Pyre here. Siren of the Sea makes sense to go on the top floor with Tethys and Guard of the Unnamed. Our bottom floor is Titan Sentry, and then the uh, the Baron, whatever his name is. Top floor, we would have Guard of the Unnamed, Siren of the Sea, and 
Tethys, and then we don't really have much of a middle floor. That's sort of where we're sticking train stewards and we can stick dregs. Um, it would be nice to have something set up there, but honestly our two floors are really, really strong right now. So we need to figure out what would be the best situation for that. And I, I am going to pick Siren of the Sea. Um, if we go with this, we have a little more room to work with. This doesn't seem like a bad idea. We're not really having issues with Pyre. I actually think we, we're going to take the draw. Because uh, with Tethys's spell cost reduction... Um, it's it's pretty good. Uh, I hmm. Well, do we duplicate Titan Sentry? Wickless Tycoon is what I was thinking of, not Baron. There, there is a Baron, a Wickless Baron, I think. But anyway, do we duplicate Titan Sentry? Uh, obviously, we can't stick them on the same floor. Uh, not just because of size, but also because the the effect doesn't work that way unless there's a a sweep. Uh, it could be something to set up for a second floor. Otherwise, I would want to upgrade or uh, duplicate a spell. I'd like to duplicate an upgraded ice tornado, but there's no spell shop here. So I, th and I have plenty of spells. Like, hold on. There's no spell shop. Period. Let me rephrase that. So I could upgrade some units. Um, Something on Wickless Tycoon would be nice so that we have a really solid first floor. Multi-Strike on Siren of the Sea would be awesome. Um, Endless, again, on the ex Entombed Explosive would be nice. Actually, if I could add Endless to a Titan Sentry, that would resolve any issues I had with uh, Molded. Um... Yeah, let's go this way. Let's check out the unit. Another Siren of the Sea. I think we're going to take the gold on this one. I don't need another Siren. I don't have the capacity for it. It's fine. And Rage isn't bad. It's just not what I want right now. So we'll do that. Uh, we are going to remove some train stewards. Actually, we'll remove one train steward and one drag. That way we still have a little bit of beef, but then we also still have our drags, and it'll, it'll be fine. It'll work itself out. Uh, Merchant of Steel, we have another large stone. Let's put a wick stone. Do we upgrade this drag that way? Or do we spread the wealth a little bit? I think I'd rather stack a single drag. Uh, we can give 10 attack to Siren of the Sea so she hits harder right off the bat. We, we, just, we don't have space for a large stone. I thought about capacity and now I'm kind of wishing that I had grabbed it. Um, okay. Perhaps we set Tethys up on the second floor instead of the third. And we can do this. 
Conduit 2 doesn't help us out that much right now. At least doesn't help us that much more than Conduit 1 does, I should say. It helps with Crypt Builder, and it helps with Ice Tornadoes, and that's it. So I think we actually we benefit much better with Chill Wind. Maybe. Um, we're not on the left side. Do we put this on anything? I mean, I, I could put it on a trade and steward. Actually, that's not a horrible idea. Let's do it. We'll keep at least one big train steward. How does that sound? <clears throat> Next fight. The low cat. Alright, uh, non-boss enemy units restore all of their health when they go up to the next floor. We get an artifact. Okay. Uh, Wickless Tycoon doesn't really do anything for us. I think I would rather set Tethys and Siren of the Sea up. Yeah, there's no way I can kill anything at this point. So my best bet would be to go Wickless and then we can give him Stealth here. I'm not going to play this because I might need the 26 damage. It doesn't quite out... It, that far outweighs the uh, the incant triggers that I would have gotten. This, however, would be a really good spot to cast some spells. I can't, I say I can't do ice and pyre on this floor, so it will cost one if I don't put Tethys up there, and that's fine. Um, let's stick some dregs here, though, because they'll feed Wickless. And then your encant gives you 10 armor. So playing frozen lances is not great. Ice and pyre would kill you on the next floor. That's the worst part of this whole thing. Well, frozen lance isn't just giving me six damage. Uh, it's also giving me some damage mitigation on guard of the unnamed. And then it's also giving me a little more damage with Siren. So I'm actually getting 8 damage out of this. Is that worth it? You tell him, Pepper. I don't, I don't think it's worth it to give him that much more armor. So I'm actually just going to play these down here. And now if we could get our uh, Titan Sentry, that would be wonderful. Thank you. A lot more damage going through. That's what I like to see. Um, ironically, an urchin spines ice tornado would kill everything on this floor. Sadly, I don't have the ember to do that. <clears throat> what I can do is make sure everything dies on this floor. And here I can play that because it's not consumed. Um, this hurts, but I mean, there's not much I could do about it. So definitely a train steward. Uh, we'll flash freeze. We will Frozen Lance. If I still Polyclaw this, it takes 15 plus 14 plus 13 damage, which is 42. Is that right? 15, 14 is 29. Yeah, 42 damage. And then... 
Where's the other five coming from? Oh, no. Where's the other five coming from? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, so right now he's only supposed to take 15 plus the 12 that I'm going to give him plus the 20 damage from attacking him. So that's why he's taking 47. If I were to use Steel Pulley Claw, it would take 42 damage plus 3 hits from the Pyre, which would 100% kill it. And I think that is a better play than... Um, Entombed Explosive. So we're going to just send him up, and he's dead. And we shouldn't take any Pyre damage. Uh, you're going to die, which is awesome. And you are hanging in there. All right, brief respite. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, if I crit Builder, he dies. So... How do we want to do it? Um, I think actually we can get away with this. This would do 60, this would also do 60. So the order really doesn't matter. He still dies and we get a bunch of encamp triggers. Uh, let's stick our burnout four drag up top. Uh, we'll see if the boss makes it that far. He won't, for the record, but yeah, he's already dead. Our Titan Sentry finally dies. It's disappointing. But he's putting in some work. Um, I feel like we could have probably gone harder and slightly more optimized for all the Frostbite stuff. Yeah, I'll... Take that, it's free money when my guys die. Hmm. Crystalline Seeds has some better synergies with our deck. Preserve has some potential as well. I think we take Crystalline, though. Crystalline's always going to help us when we can play it. Um, Votavary actually is very interesting for us because we just got this artifact up here and every time he dies we would draw a card and get five gold and then we draw him. Um, so I could upgrade spells, get gold and go to a caverns or I could heal up which looks really promising, get rid of some junk and duplicate a card. What do I want? What would I want to duplicate? Maybe a crystalline seeds actually. Like it's not upgraded, but frostbite eight is very good for the setup that we have right now. Um, I'm not really feeling duplicating the titan sentry right now. It's not to say that we shouldn't. It's just doesn't seem like the right call at this point. I I wonder if there's an endless loop of Votavary. So like if, if, if you were to duplicate Votavary, you could play two of them. One of them could die. Then you could kill the other one, draw the Votavary, play it, kill it, it would die. You draw the other Votavary, and you, you could theoretically get endless gold, but I don't know of any effects off the top of my head that would kill it for free endlessly but intermit like you'd have to control the actual trigger if it was like an automatic oh anytime you summon this it takes damage there you go you've got endless supply of gold uh, but i don't know what that is off the top of my head uh, if we're gonna get rid of cards let's talk about that quick i could get rid of another train steward and probably one of our weaker dregs um, but at this point, having little stuff to play and have die seems fine. Um, 
I think maybe we go this way and see what the Concealed Caverns has. Where it's not like we're losing tremendously. Obviously, we need to be more careful, but we'll be okay. Holdover on a flash freeze? Yeah. Holdover reduced ember on flash freeze. That's duplicatable now, in my opinion. And then I think we'll upgrade this ice tornado to do more damage, as well as costing less. I don't really feel like spending a whole lot more gold unless we find something that's worth spending it on. I don't think we're going to. Um, there are some consumables we could get. I'm feeling awoken. I don't remember what all the consumable cards are, but if it's something that lets us heal, that could be very helpful. Yeah. We're going to take that. We're going to... It's not a lot of healing, but it's something. And we could put a uh, double stack on that. We could remove, consume. Um, there, There's a lot of different applications for that. And then we can use it for our Titan Sentry. Enemies on every floor for 150 coins. I'm a little apprehensive about this one. Oh, and these are the buff all of my team ones. Um, we're going to set Tethys up on the top. Uh, thankfully, we are able to play the entire top row, kill all of these guys, and then see what comes up next. I had a feeling a collector would pop up there. Um, yeah, I, I think we have to do this. Do we preemptively play Wildwood Sap? Yeah, I think we play Wildwood Sap now, because he's going to obviously take more than enough damage for it to start healing him for the full effect. We did let one little uh, sycophant get through. Here is our holdover flash freeze. That's going to be so nice. Um, let's kill these guys. Actually, yeah, let's kill all of them. We'll do it that way. So we get a whole bunch of encant triggers, and nothing gets up to the pyre, and no one takes damage, which is awesome. Uh, we can play Entombed Explosive, and you're now dying. And I'm just going to play the drag here as well. All right, uh, we're already set up. <clears throat> uh, there's definitely some room for us to have some delayed setups but I mean there's not much else we need to do with this so let's see nothing on the top guy in the middle is dying so we can put all of our focus down here there's no capacity for us to play something like a molten encasement I don't think we would want to I, I think we get the train steward out here I think we also get another drag out. These guys don't need crystalline seeds played on them. Uh, so I think I do is not put a molten encasement on that floor because I have no more capacity anywhere. I don't have anything to play ice and pyre on. So we just play a flash freeze, kill one of these guys and then in the turn. Yep. Then we can flash freeze him. Uh, I say we play the Votaberry. We get that ball rolling. Top and bottom floor are full and very content where they're at. 
So I might as well play Frozen Lance to get the Encant trigger and end the turn. Oh, this guy's got Sweep. That'll be fun. Uh, let's start off with a quick Flash Freeze. Um, I also think we just steal Polyclaw this guy. And we can Crystalline Seeds. We'll Frozen Lance. We'll vote a very. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, we could play Ice and Pyre. Actually, we're going to play Ice and Pyre. Because then he doesn't take damage. <clears throat> so the life steal is a pain in the butt. But we got a lot of damage through. And we're just going to. He's dead, is what that comes out to. I know I didn't need to, and I really need to stop playing cards if I don't need to. It's bad. It's it's not like it's the end of the world. It's just a bad habit. Um, so this would apply Sap Two to all enemy units, which isn't bad. I like the idea of having unnamed Tome though, uh, especially in a situation like this last fight where. They can all buff the crap out of guys, and maybe they'll, some of the things they're buffing weren't going to attack me in the first place. Uh, that could be really helpful. We don't have a good spot to put a Glacial Seal that I feel like will get the actual benefits out of it. So Unnamed Tome works really well for me, at least. Uh, Memories of the Melted. Remnant Host. We have a lot of Tomb cards, and I haven't seen any Tomb Synergy artifacts. Hmm. You know, maybe it's actually not a horrible idea to grab Memories of the Melted here. It's not like we're looking for some crazy mega ultra play or anything, but this, like if, if we're in the final wave and we draw this and we've got, you know, Ice Storm, uh, Crypt Builder, Ice Storm, it might be nice to be able to play all of them if it's not on the floor with Tethys. So I will take this. I'm not saying that we're necessarily going to be using it every single fight, but it, it has some potential to do work for us. We could get rid of some stuff, get some health, and get an artifact. Oh, get some artifacts. Um, actually, I kind of want to go see if we can upgrade some units. Yeah, because we still want uh, Siren of the Sea to have multi strike, at least. And a free artifact versus paying for some artifacts. But let's go this way. Another large stone. I don't want to just slap another 10 damage on her. If we put 10 damage on Votaveri and quick, we could get even better use out of this. That would require Votaveri to die like 20 to 25 times before we actually start netting gold off of that. But it could also be the thing that helps save us. So maybe we, uh, let's just put it on Wickless. Why not? Um, let me just check what the artifact is quick. Hmm. So 
mathing some stuff out quick. If I use steel pulley cloth, it gives them days three. And if I were to get this, the vapor funnel, I think that would make it so that they get dazed four. So, at least right now, it would be three hits of 30 or four hits of 25. And then when I get the damage upgrade, it'd be three hits of 40, which is 120, or four hits of 35, which is 140. This actually would increase the damage uh, that Steel Pulley Claw allows us. And on the last fight, when stuff has like 160 health, this actually doesn't seem like a horrible thing to have. The only thing that this, the only, only thing I can think of that this would help me with is if they come in with rage. I'm gonna take Vapor Funnel. I don't think we've ever taken Vapor Funnel before, so that, that'll be fun, I think. Um, <clears throat> I honestly think we just upgrade another Dreg with Wickstone. We can reroll, encant. Here's an endless. Endless on the. Not Photovery. Photovery already has endless. Um, endless on the entombed explosive. I might as well give an extra armor encant to my Guard of the Unnamed because then he gets more defensive more quickly. And we'll give Battlestone, like I'd really, I would really like it on Siren of the Sea. I would. Um, I think we might give that to Guard of the Unnamed as well. Mostly for the extra health, but also so that he's helping do some more damage. I, mm, I'm actually gonna give it to Wickless because I don't want Sweep to kill him. And I feel like he's very susceptible to that. So we're going to do that. We're going to take our 245 gold. And we're going to go kill Fel. I feel pretty good even with this spell shield 5 BS going on. Um, yeah, I, I think we're going to be just fine. Oh, she gives units armor. That's fine. Everything's fine. So Tethys can go up there. Titan Sentry can go down there. This guy's already losing 30 health, which is awesome. Um, I think we'll stick this drag right there to start taking that out. And we're going to start stacking Frostbite on Fel. You die in two hits. You die in more hits than that, and you're gonna die very quickly because other stuff is gonna attack. So we're gonna we're gonna frozen lance this guardian because we have we have the ember, so why not? And we might as well put it to the best use that we are able. Uh, Guard of the unnamed goes right there. Wickless Tycoon goes right there. We are getting 10 gold just because he exists. Uh, again, we Flash Freeze Fell. I might as well stick that drag out in the open to do some more damage to this. There is... We're going to do one Frozen Lance here, because we still want to get through that. And then we're going to do the other one up here, because Encant. And because we didn't have any more Ember left, but... Details. Uh, you have Encant. That's not really all that terrifying for me. Um, 
actually, this is the perfect time to play something like Unnamed Tome. Then we can Crystalline Seeds, we can Flash Freeze, we can go up top, and we're just going to play this because it'll kill that and we get an Encamp Trigger. Okay. Um, you are going to die for sure. It's just not going to be pleasant. I'd rather not take damage on the top floor, but for all the things that could be going on, it's fine. Uh, you are dying to burn out, so I might as well let you take that hit. So we can make sure the guardian here dies. You are dying by how much is a good question. We have 20, 37, 42, plus the 15 is 62 damage. So this, let's see, so we're, we're two damage over. Every encant, he gets 10 armor. So this puts us another three damage over. Actually, it we should break. He should still die if we do this. I no. That'd be if he had both the frostbite and the damage dealt to him. Um. Okay, here's an idea. Uh, urchin spines. He's still dying. Oh, I forgot we get in cants too. I'm not sure why he's still dying, but I'm not complaining either. Um, we What we can do, though, is Frozen Lands him. Then we can Flash Freeze that. And we can... I should have Frozen Lanced first. That would have been more damage. Oh, well. Um, I'll stick the Molten Encasement right here, knowing that it's not going to die. You're starting to get low. I really want to draw my uh, my regen soon. You're going to take a good amount of damage, though. You're going to die very quickly on the next floor. I'll probably just Frozen Lance it if I get one, which I probably will. Not. Will not, is what I was saying. Uh, whenever a unit dies, he gets 10 armor. <clears throat> this would be a good time to use our Steel Pulley Claw. We have to get Wildwood Sap. Um, I kind of like the idea... Oh, I can't do that, so I don't like that idea. I do like the idea of an Entombed Explosive doing something, though. Um, two units available for consume. Oh, it must be in the... Oh, they're both dregs. Actually, another... This drag getting reformed wouldn't be horrible. Except I can't play it anywhere, so it would be horrible. I'm fine taking the 5 damage. I do need to play this, and I think we're just going to keep stacking it on Fell because we can. I wouldn't mind duplicating it if we are allotted the opportunity. Um... I'm liking all of our gold gain, though. It's pretty nice. Yeah, we're just going to keep slamming him down. We get to use Ice and Pyre. <laughs> all right. Uh, I don't see why we wouldn't just flash freeze. I think we can keep going Molten Encasement here, because why not? We don't have any room for a Train Steward. I do think we want to get a capacity upgrade, if that wasn't evident. And I can't do anything else, so we'll end the turn. I'm willing to bet Final Wave is coming up very, very soon. Also, we are going to do a lot of damage in right now. Uh, so let's do that. We'll do this so you die. We'll also play Votavary, and then you die. We're going to play a Frozen Lance, 
and I don't have enough ember to play Steel Foley Claw. Okay, so where is our setup not doing so hot? Oh, come on, really? Um, eh, it was debatable. Where, where are we suffering? We're not able to get the full benefit out of all of our units. And... Do we have good damage output, I guess, is a question to ask. And I think the fact that we got most of fell down is a good sign. But I also think that it means that we need to... This is going to be... Oh my god. <laughs> Well, I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> oh, that's so good. A spike of the Stygian is good too, especially if we pair that with our, uh, where is it? Memories of the Melted. I am curious as to how many units we had die in that fight, especially since we've got two endless units. Uh, but Horfrost Effigy, we gotta take that. And then I, I think we do want capacity, especially since we have a bunch of endless units now. Um, I want to be able to play them on any floor, and if I have to play them on the middle floor, that's totally fine. But uh, that that opens up some opportunities for sure. Now, if we can do that and get a really good X cost card on top of all of this, we might just have this run in the bag. Do we upgrade spells or units? Um, I would love to upgrade um, love to upgrade where what am I thinking of oh my gosh hoarfrost effigy I would love to reduce the ember cost so let's just check really quick how many more merchants of magic do we see we get this one and then there is one in the next chunk um, <clears throat> Elvent will let us duplicate. So we're definitely going here in the next fight. Doesn't I don't care about this. It does make me wonder, though, if we should maybe get the Pyre Remains now. I think the answer to that question is yes. I would rather have the health. Maybe we get a really nice artifact. Um... I think we take this in case we can super buff something. Another endless? Another wick stone. Let's put the wick stone on here. So we have two really nice dregs. I'm fine leaving that where it is. Um... We're not going to get another chance to upgrade units, so I'm going to upgrade Siren of the Sea with more damage. Yeah, we're going to do that. And then let's give Endless... Let's give Endless to a Molten Encasement. We'll re-roll. And of course we get multi-strike. Of course. Of course. Why wouldn't we get multi-strike? <laughs> I mean, it, if they're going to do that to us, I'm going to put it on a train steward. Why? Because suck it. That's why. <laughs> oh. I, I was in the back of my mind. I'm like, eh, do we do that? What if we re-roll and get multi-strike? Eh, we probably won't. We've been seeing endless and large stones like crazy. 
they wouldn't throw us multi-strike now of all times, would they? Uh, we are going to give Guard of the Unnamed more health, because that's a good idea. And then... I don't think we're going to upgrade any other units. We can purge in the next after the next fight. I don't feel like we need to do it right now. And then we should upgrade our champion, of course. So. Being on the top floor, our frostbite effect is not as good as it could be. And I don't think Horfrost Effigy counts as a damage spell. Because this, this is all effect. There's no damage directly with what it is doing. Uh, so it doesn't benefit from this. But there's other stuff like the Ice Storms, for example, that would really benefit from here. Um, plus it's a little tiny bit more health. So I think maybe we take Conduit 2 over Chill Wind 2 here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take the further reduced spell cost. I am not scared of you. Spell Shield 2 is maybe a different story. because <laughs> uh, it's enemy units, not just uh, non-boss enemy units. What does this guy do? Oh, he adds the self-mutilation. And then, of course, we have these giant tanks who are perfect candidates, by the way, for Steel Pulley Claw. These guys were also sort of what I was thinking uh, when that was a thing. Uh, Tethys, top floor... Stick Guard of the Unnamed in front. I can technically cast this, it just doesn't target anything. And I get the Encamped, so that's probably worth it. Uh, we'll stick this drag here. I guess we'll just play the Ice Tornado for another Encamped. Okay. Uh, multi strike is really helpful right now. Wickless Tycoon is also really nice. We're not going to put a molten encasement down here because that's only going to hurt us. Uh, we can put it here, however, and then I might as well play this Frozen Lance. 69 damage puts us in a good spot. Kind of, but we need to do we need to do more damage to these big health units. Ten when he's got 160 is not enough. We are thankfully getting the guys who could be adding the self mutilation cards, which is really nice. But let's see if we can do better. Uh, for zero, I think we play this. I also think we do this because then he should die. Yep. Uh, we can go Votavary. We can go Molten Encasement behind him. This guy dies, so then we just need to put enough damage out on him. And I think what we'll do is Flash Freeze because the Frostbite will still stack. And then we'll get more Frostbite and he'll take a lot of damage naturally just by us attacking him. Wildwood Sap is good to have because he's already starting to look really low. Let's slap that there. Uh, let's also, yeah, let's, uh, I see why that might not have been a great idea now. <clears throat> okay, you are not dying, that's a problem. Hmm. 
how do we do this? Uh, I think we have to do that to make sure that he dies. Now we need to put our focus up here. Sadly, I don't think... I don't think we need two right now. I think we stick the Votaberry here. I'm actually fine giving these guys stealth. They don't depend on getting attacked, so I might as well mitigate their damage. Uh, a Frozen Lance helps me get a little more damage through, but... Oh, he's going to get dazed, too. Oh, he's going to get dazed. Does this put us over the edge? I don't think it does. I think he gets one hit in. You die, and then you're going to be a little bit of a problem. I don't, I don't think we play Memories of the Melted right now. Unnamed Tome could be helpful. I don't think it will be in our situation, but... Actually, Endless Explosive here is awesome. Uh, we'll do Endless Votivary again. Um, I think we will Flash Freeze on that guy to get Frostbite going right off the bat. We're not going to play Unnamed Tome because it doesn't do anything for us. I think the only two units we have... Oh, we have the Molten Encasement, technically. I think we'll reform a Dreg. And then it, it'll it be protected. Probably eventually die to Burnout. Um, you're dying. So we might as well get the Encant trick. We're not going to be able to play everything. And I guess there was an argument to be made for getting rid of his Spell Shield. So we could try and kill him and get the damage in on the Gilded Wing instead. But this way we get the encant triggers, which is only going to make us tankier and do more damage. <clears throat> Plus we've got the Entombed Explosive we can stick up top, which is definitely going to kill him. Yeah, we're just going to do that right off the bat. If I... This would be a good chance to test the Steel Pulley Claw thing. He's taking 20 damage per turn on top of a 35 that we would attack him with. Uh, give me just a second. Let me think this through. Okay. <clears throat> I mostly would only want to check and see if it gets dazed 4, because I'm pretty sure it will. There's nothing here for us to do. He did get that already. You're dying, you're dying. I might as well do it. He does have dazed four, so that's pleasing. Um, I think we end up putting the Votaberry here. And then I'm gonna stick this drag in the back. Get a little more damage in that way. Uh, we might as well do this for the Encant Triggers. I'm not going to play the Consume cards because there's no reason to when everything is dying. Alright. And now, I can play Unnamed Tome on that guy, and he doesn't get stronger when I hit him. So we'll go there. Of course, this is when I would draw the Hoarfrost Effigy. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're just, we're gonna play it, knowing that I don't really have anything else I can do. I mean, I could put a drag down, but I don't want to take up this spot for something that might benefit from it more. And, of course, I'm doing all this talking, and I just neglected the fact that he's dead. So, woohoo, we win. Got up to 70 stacks of Frostbite. And they don't decay.
Um, I'm inclined to take Drain, actually. I mean, Harness the Titan, it, it's obviously good, especially for any of our spells that hit multiple times. Um, I'm having similar concerns about picking up Glacial Seal, although now we have the space, it's just getting it onto a floor where it makes a difference. I would rather have the extra slot on the bottom for something like uh, a really strong dreg or for an entombed explosive if I need that damage there. And then the same thing goes for the top. And I don't really feel like it needs to go in the middle. Uh, drain, however, helps for, I mean, especially on the first floor, if I don't want my, uh, my guy to take too much damage. Subsuming Blade, it's too late. Another Votavary. Uh, resin removal, however, would remove stacks of sap. And it would remove dazed on the top floor, technically. But um, I, I think, yeah, we're going to take this. We, we need to make sure that we can do as much damage as possible, which is hard if, you know, our damage has been reduced. Uh, let's go to the Unstable Vortex first. What do we want to get rid of? Um, I think our weak train steward makes sense. I also think we can get rid of this molten encasement. Because uh, what that does is it lets us do... Um, actually, we might get rid of this weak dreg while we're at it. I'm def I'm, I'm going to get rid of this, because we only need the one, especially if it's going to be endless anyway. So let's do that. Let's go here and upgrade some spells. If I can get holdover on Horfrost Epigy, that'd be pretty sweet. Um, huh, oh, you know what? This actually makes sense. It makes sense on resin removal too, now that I'm... So, I could put it on Ice and Pyre, which, I mean, it it's a little helpful. It's not super great, but it could be the thing that helps save us. Um, I could put it on Hoarfrost Effigy, but that's only if I know that I'm not going to be getting Holdover. Because if I get Holdover, then having Holdover and Permafrost is redundant. Because you know I'm going to be playing that every single turn on Seraph. I could put it on Resin Removal, uh, which does make quite a bit of sense. I don't have any X-cost cards where Memories of the Melted becomes like really good to have at just the right time. But I do have quite a few sort of expensive spells now, and it might make sense just to have that in case I need to do some big play. And right now we're relying on our spells a lot more than we are our damage. So I think I am going to put it on Memories of the Melted. Um, I'm just going to put this on another Frozen Lance, because why not? We are going to reroll. We got double stack. That's not bad. We could put that on Steel Pulley Claw. <laughs> I do want to put it on uh, Flash Freeze, because 20 Frostbite for free every single turn seems pretty good. Especially since we're going to duplicate it. Uh, we are, however, also going to reduce the Ember cost again of Horfrost Effigy. And then... 
We could technically go for another upgrade, like an upgraded ice tornado. Eh, we'll do it. Why not? If we're like 20 gold short on two trinkets, we're 20 gold short on two trinkets. <laughs> All right, we're going to get the, the upgraded magic power. Um, I think we're going to purge this dreg right here. Yeah, that's fine. And now we're going to duplicate our lovely flash freeze. Look at it. It's glorious. All right. <clears throat> I th assuming that we don't get screwed over when it comes to getting our units out, we should have this one in the bag. With, with two of our flash freezes and then Horfrost Effigy just for fun on top of that, I, I find it difficult. Uh, hold on. We're just going to kill you outright and stick you on the bottom. 35 damage is a lot. But with everything we have going for us right now, Oh, of course. Okay, that's fine. Sorry, I thought we weren't going to have room for Guard of the Unnamed, and I was getting bitter and salty and shouldn't have. That's a lot of damage that he's putting out. Holy crap. Um, well, we're going to put this down because he needs more damage, and Frostbite on Seraph is always fun. I don't think there's anything else I can do about that, though. Um, uh, spell Weakness 2 would make this Frozen Lance do 87 damage, which really would help us out here. Uh, but as long as we're able to do 100... Not 106. Uh, 91 damage here, he will die. And right now it's nothing because of sap. 23 plus 26 is 49 plus the frostbite. 12 would be 61. So you'd still have 30 health, roughly. Assuming I don't cast any spells. Um, I'd rather do that, honestly. I can't believe our Titan Sentry is going to die this early. These dump multi-strike units suck. Um, Reform is only going to give him one turn of use. And of course, you know, we don't draw it. That's going to be a problem. But uh, let's flash freeze. Let's get some of our zero cost stuff sort of out of our hand. 